Supreme Court decisions made while I was away. Uh, if I'm going to be half of Baldwin and Baldwin, I want to be up on the current rulings. Listen, you're already half of the firm, son. I don't have to tell you how pleased I am about it either, do I? It feels good, too. Good. Scotty, there's something I have to ask you about. Yeah, sure what? On Thanksgiving Day, someone tried to involve Luke Spencer in a... a uh, prank. A uh, prank really isn't the right word. It, it's a scheme, and a very cruel one. Has a lot of people upset. So? Did you have anything to do with it? No, darling, I was thinking something maybe very bright at those windows. Maybe something in a bold red and an off-white. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think they're called windows. I think they're called portholes. Oh, <laughs> well, whatever they're called, darling, they definitely need some color. Maybe, uh, maybe pale peach would be nice. You know, pale peach would be wonderful with my delicate color, don't you think? <laughs> oh, darlings, here you are. Laura and I have decided on pale peach for these uh, little potholes. What do you think? Doesn't that sound divine? The term is porthole, and right now, pothole seems appropriate. Why? Hey, did something happen? No. We just went over the whole damn tub with this marine architect. Well, what did that little rugged man with a pipe think, huh? Well, he thinks it's quite possible for us to convert this floating albatross into a very nice nightclub. Oh, you see, I told you. <laughs> yes, well, he also thinks that it's going to cost us about five times what we figured. Give or take a few thousand. Oh, so what are we going to do? Well, I don't know what we're going to do. That's what I want to talk to you about. My dear wife, we can have our floating nightclub. If you're willing to spend every cent we got, so what do you say? Shall we go for broke? Luke, we can't risk losing all of our money. Well, not if we want to eat and stay afloat, too. You got a good point. Well, just how much money is it going to cost? Did that little architect tell you? Uh, yeah, he's very explicit about his fees. Uh, Five thousand dollars for a set of blueprints. So, you know, if it's uh, five thousand bucks for the blueprints, it's going to be uh, quite a bit <laughs> for the real job. Well, how much money is available now? Well, Scorp and I figure between the two of us, we got, what, about 80,000 bucks? Yeah, but don't forget that portion of that money is going to have to be uh, used to live on local expenses until this club starts to show a profit. Unless, of course, <clears throat> we took in a third partner. Do you know anybody that might be interested? Yeah, I do have a close friend. Oh, yeah? Very yeah. close. Ooh, very close. Yeah, what? and the thing about this friend is she happens to own this rather valuable diamond necklace, which I can see at this very moment. Oh, no, no. Let me tell you, my diamonds are my security, and I am not selling another one of those. No way, Robert, no <coughs> way. No, no, Tiffany, no, no, no. Tiffany, listen. Whose idea was this in the first place? As I recall, it was yours. That's well, right, and you would break my heart if I didn't get to see you be the hostess. But I still have to do that now. But yes, just I think do. of this. The whole place is going to be on two tiers, right? So wherever the patrons are seated, they'll be able to get a clear view of you. That's right, there won't be any posts. Nothing to obscure their vision of you. Mm. Well, it does sound exciting, doesn't it? Mm. <laughs> two, levels. Two, two levels. Two levels. All 250 customers will be able to ogle you at any one time. 250? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> There'd be fools to pass this up, wouldn't we, do you think? Yeah. <laughs> and during summer, we're going to have these glass doors that open out onto the decks. That's right. right. That means that if we kind of float close to shore, they can see you from the street. Yes, best audience. Mm. Well, yeah, it, it, like it, it sounds like a very good offer. I do have to admit, we yeah. would be kind of crazy not to do this. What do you think? I second the motion. Third. Okay. Laura? <clears throat> Why are you even asking my opinion, Robert? It seems like you've all decided already. Maybe that's not, that's not true. Well, you have, haven't you, Luke? And the two of you are going to put up the money. She's going to be the hostess. What do you want me to do, wash the dishes? Forget it. 
Uh, I think this is the time where someone says oops. I, I'll, I think I better talk to her. Listen, I give you my word, until just now, I, I had no idea about what happened on Thanksgiving. But if what you say is true, you're right. That was no prank. It was cruel. Yes, very. I mean, it was bad enough to try and lure poor Ruby into an abandoned warehouse, thinking that Luke could, well, he was in danger. But then to make sure that Luke thought that Ruby had been in an accident, that's just malicious. You know, something to be perfectly honest with you, uh, Dad, I... I don't know how you could think that I was capable of a stunt like that. Well, Scotty, I owe you an apology. And now we'll say no more about it. I am to meet uh, Gail at the Floating Rib for lunch. Why don't you join us? Oh, well, I'd love to. Thanks. Baby, I don't want you to hurt. What's wrong? Everything. Okay, everything. Well, where do we start? I don't really know where to start. I... It's just that our lives have been so crazy for the past year, you know? And I thought that once we got married, we could settle down a little bit. I need that kind of security. And now we're, we're just floating around on this damn boat. Now, wait, wait, this is not exactly a Chinese junk you're talking about. It's a $5 million luxury yacht. I know that, but the anonymous donor took out all the good furniture. Well, I left the bed. That's all I need. It doesn't matter. It's still damp. Damp? Yeah. Is that what's wrong? The boat is damp? Yeah. <sighs> There's more to it than that. It's just that it really gives me the creeps to be here, you know? It's like the Cassidines were all around here. I just, it just makes me feel creepy. What do you want? Uh, the trouble is I don't know. All right, sweetheart, you're talking about security. You're talking about living the way other people live. You know, I'm not other people. You know that. And uh, a nine-to-five existence, that just wouldn't work. I mean, can you see me selling used cars and coming home every night complaining about I didn't make a sale today? Uh, that's not me. I know. I know. But a nightclub? Oh, we can make it work. Sure. It's, it's, it's great. Besides, I'm good at running clubs. You know that. I can do that. I know. All right. Besides that. The reality is we're stuck with this big, huge rubber ducky. And a club at least makes use of it, doesn't it? But it was still the Cassidines. Who cares? We'll make it our own. Luke, don't you feel them here? No. No? No, no, neither will you. Once we get some of our own things in here... It, Besides, this is not forever. It's not. Right? Well... Right? There's only one thing that is forever. And that's our love for each other. Right? 